they go through every day because the first step to solving a lot of these race problems we talk about is understanding people's knowledge, and yeah. what they go through. I think it's really interesting. I'm like, so it's a cool school. Like, like, well, like the chill. amount of like <laughs> different races and it's ethnicities. Okay. It's pretty yeah. awesome. Moment for you to say, where do we go, and what do you want your legacy to be as you leave off the college? And stuff like that. And like, I feel like if you if you're black, you automatically don't have as much opportunity as a white person and on the other side it's predominantly white so i feel like if we want to rebuild a community instead of running away we actually have to stay actually want want that but at the same time we don't have as many opportunities or we probably won't you know be heard enough for like somebody actually wanting to come in and try to help help us build other communities so. people like us or you know mm -hmm. like that understand where you're coming from and want to help and want to be there for you and a big part of it is wanting to make a difference I, more, like a couple more conversations and a couple more like yeah like getting deeper into stuff because there's still like a little bit of like blur and like misconceptions and stuff happening so i think that like that would be like our first step so far today i really like so there this is my first time actually you know shadowing there uh -huh. um I found some similarity, similarities and some differences. Um, similarities as, as in, you know, Parkway North, we're very diverse and so are y'all. I really like our mission statement. And um, that's actually one of the first things like uh, I noticed. And uh, actually my friend Greg, he actually spotted it out for me. And um, uh, the classrooms, it's like very like live. You know, everybody's like very uh, close. Yeah, close and it's like real friendly and stuff like that. Everybody knows each other. Uh -huh. And um, that was good. The lunch, I love their lunch. Yeah. Uh, I love the lunch. That's good. <laughs> what did you have? I had uh, a panini. Oh yeah, panini. I ain't, I ain't never, I never had a panini before. At school. Panini. At school. Was it the chicken? And yes, ham? it was the, like the spicy panini. And you know, actually, it's just really like you know, every see, thing to see like, like how there's like diversity here, and they all work together really well. Like walking through the hallways, like everyone seemed to know each other really well. Everyone seemed like. Like they were like, like besides the froyo and lunch? Oh, uh, probably sitting in a class. Like I was in so class with Luke and our class was like really small and our teacher was like really hands on. And, like, yeah. Awesome. And the languages at school. There's like at Solna, there's Arabic. Um, I went to that class and it was very interesting because I've never been in a class that yeah. has taught Arabic. Oh yeah, I saw the mission statement of Soldan when I first walked in. Uh -huh. And um, what really struck my eye was the fact that it mentioned unity among diversity and just unity in the school uh -huh. and um, yeah leadership basically and I feel like those are uh, very key factors in positivity in any society or community even within the school community so that's something that I really like and that I um, that I enjoy seeing inside of Salt Lake High School. What we're trying to do in the race like if we could literally put the race up at once too and just use Salt Lake. Uh, yeah. That was really good. That, like, that was somebody's school. Like, I, I made it. Prom <laughs> 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 King made it. <laughs>